Hello, everyone. My name is Gary Newell. I'm a professor here in the Department of Computer Science. And um, let me add my welcome to all of you who are tuning in and watching this. I'm sure you've had a few welcomes already. Um, I am not here to actually give out an award, uh, but rather I'm here to give an acknowledgement to a number of students from the department who uh, kind of went above and beyond in participation, uh, represented the department and the university uh, in a very good way, and we're quite proud of them and wanted to at least acknowledge uh, what they've done. So without further ado, I am going to acknowledge for the department, the 2021 ICPC programming teams. Uh, we had five teams this year and I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, some of you may be familiar with the old ACM programming contest that used to be held each year. Uh, there is no longer an ACM programming contest. It has now been taken over by the International Collegiate Programming Contest which is a charity foundation, nonprofit. ICPC was designed with the intent of providing opportunities for students from all over the world to participate in competitive programming contests. Uh, this past year, which was supposed to be 2020, but carried over for obvious reasons to 2021, uh, this contest had participants from 3,406 universities around the world. They came from 104 countries. There were almost 20,000 teams of students participating and just under 60,000 total student participants, which is just amazing if you stop and think about it. We at NKU, we're proud to be able to sponsor five teams. Each team is made up of three students. Uh, the teams are all given a set of problems somewhere between say nine and 15 problems, which they are to solve as a team of the three students without any cooperation or interaction with anyone else. Uh, the team that solves the most wins and they break ties by those who solve them quicker. And if they submit an incorrect solution, they get a 20 minute time penalty. And this competition goes on from anywhere, depending on the particular competition, from three to five hours. So these can be uh, quite exhausting. Uh, our teams this year participated in some combination uh, in the following types of events. There were a number of practice competitions, perhaps too many of them. Uh, they because this was the first time they've ever tried to hold a competition like this virtually, so from a distance, uh, they were pretty paranoid about how it was going to work out. And therefore, they held a lot of practice competitions to test software, test network connections, make sure communication uh, mechanisms were working. And so all of our students uh, participated in at least one some of them many practice competitions. There was a qualifier. We had four of our five teams participate in the qualifier. Uh, from there, it went on to the regional. We're in the mid central region. That would be schools from uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, Indiana, and I think uh, parts of Southern Illinois are also in there. There may be one or two others I'm missing, but that's pretty much what it is. So there are dozens of teams in participating in that. Uh, we had three teams participate in that competition. One of them did quite well. Uh, they actually made it in, they qualified via the regional to make it to the North American division competition. There's six divisions and we were placed in the South division, sort of like the NCAA tournament, right? They placed us in the South division uh, and they just recently completed that. They did well. I'm sure they're not as happy as they, they probably felt they could have done better, but I, I, I think they did real well. Just qualifying and getting to the divisional was quite an accomplishment and I applaud them for that. 
These are the teams. Now, I should point out to you right away that the team names, which are one, two, three, four, and five, reflect my lack of creativity. Normally, we only have one or two teams, and I would normally call them black and gold. And if we got a third team, they'd be Norse. Uh, but I kind of ran out of creativity after three. Uh, so I just numbered them, one, two, three, four, and five. And this is basically the order that the students contacted me. I grouped them that way. We weren't able to really get together and meet uh, due to the pandemic. And so it was kind of a toss up here. Uh, and I'm not going to attempt the names because I will butcher a great number of them. It's been, it seems like forever since I've been in the classroom and had an opportunity to interact with uh, many students, which is a shame. I hope that this fall we'll start that again. Uh, and so I, I really would hate to butcher anyone's name. Uh, I thank all of you. I will do a quick shout out though to Chris, Trung, and Michael. Uh, they were the team that did qualify for the division. It's been a number of years since we've had a team qualify for that. And so uh, they did a great job. If any of you students who are watching this think you might be interested in trying it, it can be a lot of fun. Next year will be uh, hopefully great. We're going to be hosting it at, on campus at NKU. Gives us a chance to show off our resources and our students. And if you think you might like to do it, hit me up with an email or um, just look for the announcements. As soon as I get word on what's gonna happen next year, I will send out an announcement. We'll organize some teams. I hope to have some meetings. I think we've recognized some of the topics that we need to focus on to ensure that our teams uh, qualify better. Uh, but anyway, I wanna thank all 15 of you and the department thanks you very much for your time and effort, particularly since some of these things were held during the school week, which it isn't particularly brilliant, but that's what they did. But thank you all again, and congratulations to everyone. And for everyone who's going to get an award today, congratulations as well. Thank you.